Have you all heard about Frogan? Have you all heard about Frogan? If you don't know who Frogan is, Frogan is... Keep this in chat. My name is Morgan, but I go by Frogan. Frogan on the internet. I'm a 27 year old public health expert and advocate by the day and self-proclaimed pro gamer by night. Never heard of her? Well, let me show you a clip of what she said yesterday. I have no pity at all for any soldiers. Distress, thank you so much. I will never have any fucking pity for any fucking soldiers. She's a Hassan. US that's military? true. Who fucking who? I hope you get PTSD. Eats, eats, eats. Okay. You know? Yeah, you know what? I, I do, the ones I do, I, the ones I'm like, whatever about the US soldiers are the ones that like acknowledge that like what they did was wrong. They didn't know well back. They didn't know back then. She realizes she said something whatever. bad. You're, you're the person in my book. Right? She realizes. Oh, like, Tom, uh, like, 10 gifted. It, it's a so little the, bit the, fucky the what US she said. That are like, yeah, like, you know, so I did this back then, but like... now I know it's wrong. Like I'm changed. Like fuck imperialism. Fuck this. You don't deserve the PTSD. But like any other motherfucker, you're joining them. You're like, oh my god, I want my fucking Camaro, no student loans. Fuck you. I hope you get PTSD. So and I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into fucking America. She's talking about a car. Like she's saying that people join the military to get a car. First, first of all, that's the clip. So context. If you don't remember who she is. We've seen her it before. Should be something where, like, We've seen her before. Five. She? This this was Ludwig donating, I think, 10k? This was Ludwig donating 10k. He donated 10k. Because I think it is worthwhile. Palestine if you children. Guys got some extra bread, I would recommend you donate. But I won't throw it on you, you know what I mean? No thanks. And some people are going to say that, you know what I mean? That's why it's the diff- This is a cracker take. Difference between like, hey, I can put my money- Cracker take. Which, by the way, is a slur for white people, apparently, which is... Really fucking... Really fucking retarded words, like, question mark? Ayo, I enlisted where my car... <laughs> where my mouth is, but I don't need to put your money there. I don't need to enter a fucking debate... Cracker about whether that's worthwhile. Cake. Hey, I know Arabs are dying, but, you know... I'm not gonna tell you to donate. Do whatever you want. Well, this this is why Ludwig does that. He just doesn't want to have any drama. Because pe because of people like this. Because people are dramatizing I just shit. Start any trouble? She dumb. She dumb. She dumb. She probably gonna get suspended for this. She should get suspended for it. She should, and she wasn't. She had not been, and now she said even more shit. I'm here to clarify stuff from the military perspective. Yeah, we'll go about it in a couple seconds. You see how many tabs I have open? We're ready to talk, man. We are ready Thinking to talk. It, like, you think of the think of the Twitch streamers that haven't said shit about Palestine. I'm just trying so to give thing, right? it's context like, first on thing that I her think character. Is very annoying to a lot of people, is this girl is sitting here with a few tip emergency rent. She is asking for rent, viewers, trying money. to raise money for her rent. And then Ludwig donates $10,000 to the cause that she agrees with, and she calls him a cracker. Come on, man. What the fuck are you doing? Where were you seven fucking months ago? The only she should Twitch get banned. Yes. This is repeated behavior. That's why I'm showing this. This is why I'm showing October this. October has been Hassan, me. Okay. Streamers actually deserve to be fucking shit talked. Okay. Why do you do this? What what is what is your end goal? You're making everything worse. You're hurting the cause. You're being a racist. Where's the upside here? Yeah, like I said, white saviors is like, oh yeah, you know, me, I donated ten thousand dollars, but I'm not gonna promote it. Do you want to give the money back? Ludwig <laughs> has always been a like literally. Do you guy. want him to give I the money heard back? Of, like, any like bad what? Stuff about Ludwig, and he doesn't want to get shit on for weeks from people on the internet. And it's not just this issue; it's all these issues. It's white area when white people deny. Like, what the fuck? Don't yeah, that's what she's saying. Look, if you're not actively believing, if you don't believe in the cause, and if you're not against genocide at this point, like. Keep your fucking money. Keep your $10,000. I'm sure that's very easy to say while she's sitting in her home and where is she living? Like yep. Los Angeles or something? California? It's like, I'm sure yep. the Palestinians really appreciate that. 
Um, what are you doing? Like, why? I don't understand how these people don't understand that all this is gonna do is make more people hate them. Keep your, keep your little chump change, like... Chump uh, change, 10K. Chump change, it's $10,000. 10K. You, you're trying to raise $1,400 and $10,000 is chump change. Then what are you? Why? Why aren't you out here raising money for a fucking Palestine you yourself then? Why are you doing this? But I don't understand. Like, what do you want? Do you want me to say like congratulations? I difference between like hey i can put my money where my mouth is but i don't need to put your money there i don't need to enter a fucking debate mm -hmm. about yeah. whether that's worthwhile Ashley. disgusting either way this for context so our 27 year old public health expert she has more oil in her veins than all of iran oh my god so she goes out and says that u.s military soldiers deserve ptsd we had a couple of people talking about this the fact that people like this even have a following to give them some sense of authority and speak like this from the comfort of their homes in a free nation provided by the very soldiers they disrespect is insane this i couldn't have said this better myself if you so disagree with this leave the country i served in our military for two years I am no veteran, but at the same time, a friend of mine was enlisted as a military firefighter in Lebanon. Back in 2013, he returned and had severe psychological Jesus. problems, nearly ruined his relationship and was addicted to alcohol. Getting him out of this was difficult. Her take with PTSD, no matter if American soldier or not, is so immensely disrespectful. I am it at is. loss of words. It is. It's so disgusting. It is so freaking disgusting. Also, hi, Kata. Hi, Catalina. Hi, hi. It is so freaking disgusting. It's... No matter what your political views are, this is disgusting to everyone who's active in military or a veteran. Thank you. Few will ever know the sacrifices you all have made. God bless you and your families. Agreed. Fucking agreed, man. Truly disgusting behavior. If Esmond got banned for what he said, then so should she. This girl gives off such a bitchy catty girl vibe. Like the mean girls from high school. How is it this person won Rising Star at the Streamer Awards? So, this is also what I'm mad about. This is also partially what I'm mad about. She won Rising Streamer at the Streamer Awards. She gets actively promoted by Twitch. Where she has some racist takes actively which are brushed under the rug because oh it's just about food it's not actually about jews and she actively goes and wishes people ptsd as a quote-unquote health expert as a quote-unquote health expert bro i may not have been in the military but i do have ptsd not from military so it's not comparable but I do know what flashbacks feel like for a shit situation. It completely renders you. It completely renders you fucking... Um, what's the word? I don't know. That you can't fucking move, man. It's, it's so awful. The health expert needs a nutrition expert. <laughs> yeah. We should call PTSD chill chuck again. What? These people live in the greatest nation ever to exist and have to have the gall to say shit like this. This is why I felt like my military service was nothing. People like this who shit on us like it's fucking back in Vietnam. This is so paralyzed. Yes, that's the word. Thank you. Yes, this is absolutely disgusting. Her fucking ass takes are so disgusting. She's sitting at her home. By the way, look what it says here at the bottom. Capri does my makeup for donations. That's what she's raising her donations for. So someone can make her makeup, by the way. While she's advocating for... Sorry, while she's... Saying... That Ludwig should keep his chump change of 10k that he sent to Palestinian children. Right, makes sense. Makes sense. Now there's one more part where I find her absolutely disgusting. I don't make this a secret. I was raised in a Muslim family. Well, as chat knows, I used to work directly in the medical field with yeah. a specialty in behavioral health. 
This yes. type of crap I have major personal takes with. I have seen the worst of it in my time in. It's so disgusting. Her behavior is so disgusting, man. N2G7, thanks for the follow. So, looking away from the military stuff for just a second, I was raised in a Muslim family. I was raised in a Muslim family. My stepfather is Palestinian. All my, all my siblings are half Palestinian, half Germans. I'm a full German. Well, no, I'm, I'm a German half Albanian anyway, but I, I feel like a full German anyway. I got nothing to do with my Albanian father. So, but I was raised uh, with the religion. And one thing that really disgusts me about her is this picture. Like, I'm sorry, but how do you talk about Muslim shit and talk about all of this shit when you wear like this? Why are you even putting on the hijab? Haram, literally, literally. Now, now let me tell you, this isn't skin. This isn't skin, this is a white shirt. This is a white shirt, so her excuse would be, oh, it's a loophole, right? She thought, she thinks out here she found a fucking loophole because it's not actually exposing her skin. Bro, you're making it to look like your fucking skin. You're making this to look like your skin. And on top of that, firstly, you pulled down the fucking shit here. Like, obviously, to like, show, quote unquote, that there would be supposedly cleavage. To make it look like cleavage, first of all. Second of all, showing a woman dressing and showing her curves like this is very haram. Is that a penis on her necklace? What the fuck? I think it's a shoe. No, I think it's a country. Was it supposed to be Palestine? She clearly doesn't know what it's like to live as a woman in Iran and Afghanistan. Yep, that's that's what I wanted to lead into. That's what I wanted to lead into. She dresses out here like this. You know what would happen to her if she dressed like this in one of those countries? You know what would happen to her if she dressed like this in one of those countries? She would just get publicly shamed. She, people would throw stones at her. People would throw fucking stones at her. She's sitting in the comfort of fucking America and is talking shit about the military of America that's protecting her country. If you hate it so much there, fucking leave. The real answer there, kids, so she'd get the PTSD she talks shit about. Yeah. I'd rather not mention the punishments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she lives in the comfort of America, complains about America. Now, I don't have anything against Muslims, as I just mentioned. As I've just fucking mentioned shit. I've grown up with a Muslim family. I personally don't see myself as a Muslim, but I've grown up with a religion. I, 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 the religion hits very close home to me. I've read most of the Quran anyway. Never finished it, but I've read most of it. So I do know shit about it, okay? I do know my shit about it. And despite how fucking shitty my stepfather is. I still don't hate the religion, but people preaching out here. This, in a sense, is literally virtue signaling. She's, uh, yeah, she's so oppressed. She is so freaking oppressed. There's also Muslim countries where they still circumcise girls. Yo, that, that is true and that is so freaking disgusting. It is ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous. No, I understand Andrew Tate in his ways. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, chill. So, she, she literally acts like the average white girl. With political stance, though. With political charged uh, stances. But, on other texts, she's very white girl. She goes to concerts. She sings along to concerts. She wears makeup. She takes pictures like this. You probably have read more than she has. Who knows? Maybe. So to me, this is disgusting behavior. Fucking disgusting. Now then, let me let me find the next one. She doubled down, but I can't find it. Here's the double down. Here's the double down chat. She doubled down. 
Hassan's modern Twitch streamer, Frogan, doubles down on the horrendous things she said about American troops. Any other motherfucker you're joining them? Oh my god, I want my fucking Camaro and no studio owns? Fuck you. I hope you get PTSD. <laughs> and I hope you get no health insurance. Look at her laugh about herself. Like, hee hee hee, I'm so quirky. Let's get back into the fucking America. Hee <laughs> hee, so quirky. <laughs> She may as well be dressed like the uh, uh, average American. I don't un She even has a piercing. Mutilation of yourself is also haram. Just saying. She has a piercing in her nose. Mutilation of yourself, haram. Bro, why are you wearing the hijab? It's, to me, looks like virtue signaling. <laughs> why are you pretentious? And she posted it in my head, I'm like, ah, uh, based? Based? Uh, based? <laughs> like, am I supposed to- I couldn't hear it? Oh, sorry, let me turn the music lower. Any other motherfucker, you're joining them- you're like, Oh my god, I want my fucking Camaro and no student loans? Fuck you. I hope you get PTSD. <laughs> and I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into the fucking America. And they posted it in my head, I'm like, uh, base? They posted it and she's like, oh, base though. Uh, base? Like, she's... <laughs> the cringiest thing a person can do is calling themselves based and calling their own takes based. You cannot... You cannot... Call yourself based. That's just not how it works. So she's ripping on the guy who would be just going in. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm currently serving in Allied Asian Armed Force military and wishing soldiers get PTSD or die is insane considering most of us don't even want to be here. But are for various reasons. There are exceptions and even then it's unwarranted. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Sluffin, thanks for the follow. So, a lot of the times, not a lot of the times, right? There's so many different reasons why people join the army. Like, you guys can talk about this, like, uh, way better than I can. Because firstly, I'm not American. Secondly, I have no sex in the army. I've only known from what I've seen and heard and consumed about the army. But there's many different reasons why people join the army. Sometimes it's because they don't even have any other option from what I've heard. Like, they just, like, it was like a last resort kind of thing that they could only go to the army because they didn't have anything really left where else they could go. Like, and to tell, ugh. Many times people join because it's the best way to better their position in life. There, that's also true. The military is a mixed bag. Of course it is. Of course. The world isn't mixed back. Infinite, it's mandatory for men. In Germany, it isn't. But, uh, and in America, it also isn't from what I know. You can call yourself based if it's an argument based on actual proof of it being correct and not ideological statements. I still think, like, calling yourself based is so fucking cringe. Military here, after service, has options to pay your college for you, I believe. Damn. Well, there you go. I joined the marines because my dad was a marine and I joined as a cook and honorary fueler. Bro, that's so sick! Bro, that's actually so cool, man. I was considering joining the army for a while when I was around 18 or 19 because I wanted to get a game- oh, Bruh! Bruh! But I feel like that's a lot of- uh, uh, That's what a lot of people has as a mot have as a motivation too. Several years soldiers deployed in Iraq. They were deployed there because it was their duty, but almost none of them supported the whole situation. Yeah, they are. F it's. Oh, but hey, let's let's continue. <laughs> like, am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be like? Like, I'm not walking back on it. I still fucking agree with it. Ah, uh, base. Any other motherfucker? Now she's saying she's not walking back on it. She will not correct her stance, but wait for it. Wait for it. Spoiler alert. She is walking it back. You're doing them. You're like, oh my god, I want my fucking Camaro and no student loans. Fuck you. I hope you get PTSD. 
And I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into a fucking America. It's so disgusting <laughs> behavior, man. Like, her laugh? It's so entitled. That laugh is so fucking entitled. <laughs> She's plain unlikable, she is. Yeah. And they posted it in my head, I'm like, ah, base? Imagine calling your own tech based. Either way. Either way, so. <laughs> People. So, uh, you know Twitter. Uh, Twitter doesn't take lightly to anything. Twitter doesn't take lightly to anything. So. Total normal behavior. This is people in our message requests. Fucking loser. Fat fucking bitch. Go fucking die. Fucking cunt. You're disgusting. Uh, my stepdad is a vet and you openly wish that they would die is... Blah blah blah. You're a scumbag. Go kill yourself. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. Take the towel off, bruh. <laughs> but you ugly fat ass bitch don't realize it's the only reason you get to sit. Now, look away from all the insults. She really doesn't realize that... The only reason she sits there on her ass being able to stream and being able to post on Twitter and voice her opinion is because of the fucking American military. It is because of America. Something to talk about for vets, they will get their status as a vet used against them. I had one friend who was in a, his divorce had his service used against him to lose custody of his- WHAT?! WHAT?! That's so ridiculous! Mods, instead of uh, replying bruh to it, just delete the comment. Like, just delete the comment, bruh. No need, isn't, need to talk about the comment. Like, yeah, stop now, that was a bit too far. So, I don't condone death threats. Of course I fucking don't. I said this before. I don't wish for anyone to fucking die. No. I don't on people going out there and harassing her non-stop. What I am for is calling the shittiest behavior out, though. They call this bitch's behavior out. This, this isn't the right way. This, this isn't the right way to do it, what people are doing. But, but, she, in return, she is wishing that, like, she's literally pushing PTSD on anyone that risks their freaking lives, man. She's playing the freaking victim. She is playing a victim. She's... She's actually is fucking... It's... No empathy, man. No empathy, no humanity, nothing. Nothing in there. Nothing. So here's an apology that came out, though. Here's a non-apology. Here's a non-apology from her chat. The US military has conducted some of the most horrific crimes against humanity in the modern era in countries such as Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Lebanon and Palestine. My anger is directed at individuals who are currently championing these war crimes as if they liberated my people. It's horrific and disgusting. The beginning of the clip was worded poorly and I do apologize for that. I go on to clarify in the clip that I do not mean all military, but specifically those with no remorse. What I said was out of frustration as they are currently bombing my family in the name of liberation. I realized that wishing people harm isn't the best way to talk about these issues, that I could have talked about these topics in a more sensitive way. So let's look at this. Out of frustration. Distress, thank you so much. She just looked very no frustrated. Pity at yeah. all for any fucking soldiers. She's eating. She's this eating very so calmly. Much. I She's will eating never very calmly, have any I fucking say. pity for any fucking soldiers. U.S. military, boo fucking who? I hope you get PTSD. Dad looks very distressed. Can she please stop talking? She's annoying. I feel that. Uh, is this girl real? Yep, yeah, she's for real. She's for real. You know? But that's from politicians I, causing I do, problems and sending soldiers into war that was not necessary or we shouldn't have been involved in as much as we are. No, I agree. It's not the people's fault. She wishes harm upon the soldiers that 
just fight because they're employed. Employed. In, 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 in English, man. Enlisted. The military are poor guys who have to deal with the mess intelligence agency and politicians made. Yeah! Yeah! I do, oh, I do ones I'm like, whatever goes. about the US soldiers are the ones that like acknowledge that like what they did was wrong. They didn't know well back. They didn't know back then. Whatever. You're, you're a good person in my book. Oh my god, Tom, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Her apology is such a non-apology. This is... On one hand, she literally goes on saying that she's not gonna walk it back. Like, here she says she's not gonna walk it back, and then suddenly, oops, this shit is blowing up everywhere. Look at this, 13 million views right now. If I refresh it, probably more. Yeah, 14.5 now, look at that. It's a triple down? Yeah, it is. It seriously is a non-apology, and it's disgusting. What I said was out of frustration and currently bombing my family in the name of liberation. And you know why you are not part of the family that are getting bombed right now? You know why are you not getting bombed yourself right now? Because you're sitting your ass safe in America. Because you are safe in America because no one's attacking America directly. Switch ban logic. Frogan saying military service members should get the PTSD. No suspension. Ego stream softcore coin. 24 hour suspension. As Mongol calling Muslims inferior. 14 day suspension. Being a Jew in Israel. Unable to even create an account on the website. So yeah. That's an entire situation too, by the way. Where people couldn't even... People couldn't even create an account in, from Israel. People couldn't even create a fucking account in Israel for a time being. Supposedly so, because they've overlooked that they forgot to re-enable it. Supposedly so, by the way. Here's it what feels Destiny like they've gotten says. away with not commenting. Do you and by the way, I don't hate or like Destiny. I got no feelings uh, towards... Uh, I got no feelings or opinions towards Destiny Twitch whatsoever. Will an explanation, or do they just move on? I don't know. It feels like they've gotten away with not commenting or talking about literally any of this. They don't literally? talk about any of this. It's been days now. No one is talking about this. The only quote unquote journal that I've seen talk about this is fucking Keemstar. Of like hundreds of thousands of liked and retweeted uh, things from different communities on Twitter. And like Twitch is just completely and utterly silent. And also so is the entire media. Nobody is talking about it at all. No one. That, again, those Asmongol articles about the Palestinian genocide thing. They were that everywhere. That shit was written like hours. That shit was written hours after uh, Asmongol said that. But they, but nobody. It was written instantly. Not even hours. It was written instantly. But he anywhere has said anything about this. It's actually wild. Jewish Israeli Amazon workers say company tolerating anti-Semitism by employees. November 15th, 2023. Destiny is mixed, but he is right on this one. He is right on this one. He is absolutely right on this one. It was there before he said it, just in case. What do you mean? Saying Kimsan journals in the same sentence should be punishable as stoning. I that's what it's like, quote unquote. But literally, he's the only one who's talking about it, though, which is ridiculous, man. Twitch reportedly dismissed a complaint against Rogan, claiming she didn't break TOS. If you don't like the terrorism support and stuff like that on Twitch, don't waste your time reporting. They almost instantly reject stuff like that because the culture of the company is largely supportive of those statements. So what I'm gonna say in regards of this... It's an automatic system and it's ridiculous. The system... I had... Shit, I reported someone on Twitch who was opening advertising their OF. Or was it their fancy? Whatever it was, man. Verbally in their stream, which is against TOS. Which is very much against TOS. And yes, I reported them. I don't give a fuck. Fuck off. If you break the TOS, you should get punished for it. Simple. Twitch instantly came back to me and said, Nope. Then get banned. Then get banned. Nope. No, no violations. And here again, this is an automatic system which is ridiculous. Now, this specifically, she responded to you guys based. I take nothing back. Did she have a chat with the DJ Clancy who said that making fun of veterans is a lot? Veterans are protected class, are they not? Hateful conduct. Veteran status. 
It's literally hateful conduct. Conduct, what she's showing. And she's not banned. Her account is still active. Esmond's account was gone instantly. I certainly dislike Destiny, but he's right about this. And it's gross that people are crapping on Esmond, but... And don't criticize a Punisher son or his cronies for the awful stuff they've said or done. And they have said worse stuff than Esmond. That is absolutely true. Absolutely fucking agreed. You are absolutely fucking right. I know it's Twitter, not Twitch, but I've reported the same Twitter account like three times for zoo stuff. And each time I get a nod show response. It's disgusting how fucking automatic shit like this is, man. It really is disgusting. Also, I wanted to show um, one, two more tweets from Tectone. First of all, this one. <laughs> to end it all off, I wanted to show this. I have no pity for American soldiers. Jabba the Hutt. I have pity for Frogan's fridge. She probably gets PTSD from seeing a soda diet. Now, I don't agree with attacking someone based on if they're overweight or something, but she doesn't look overweight. She does not look overweight, but she's eating like an overweight person. She's constantly eating like one. Hassan, America deserved. You know, I don't know if I can even say the rest of what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hassan, speaking of Hassan, he had a really, really, really bad take recently. Where... Fuck, I forgot what it exactly was. I didn't save it. Uh, Recently? <laughs> yeah, all the time, right? <laughs> All the time. I think it was literally like yesterday. Is Esmond Bento suspended? He is suspended for 14 days. But this shit is what's so fucking disgusting. That... She gets away to say this garbage with just literally hateful conduct. And doesn't get anything. No repercussions. Nothing. Nothing. So... Yeah, disgusting. Disgusting behavior. Disgusting Twitch being hypocritical. Disgusting behavior. Getting other people banned. Like, either, either ban all of them or ban none of them. And you can get banned for showing hips. Yeah, on top of that, right? <laughs> like, that on top of that. Ugh. <sighs> Was it something where he told Esmond that talking to the terrorist the sun to No, 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 not that one. Not that one. It was where he had, honestly... It, it, on the baseline, it looked like a very similar take to what Esmond said, but just about another country. That uh, they deserved getting... fucking... not colonized, but taken over because they were basically cavemen. So, yeah. I just got here, what's getting banned? No one. Apart from Asmongold. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's 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 about it. That's about it. Don't need to drag this out any longer than we need to. It's disgusting, it's hypocritical, and Twitch really needs to get their fucking shit together because I I, I don't I don't know anymore, man. Like I I don't know anymore. That that's about it. See so, yeah. ya.